Right, I'm with Ben Elowitz, the CEO of Wet Paint. We're here at the On Media Conference. Hey, Ben. Hello. Hey, you were sitting in on that uh, social media panel, um, social network panel, or advertising social networks, and uh, what was the what were they saying, and uh, what are you seeing out there in terms of trends in um, advertising on social networks? It's a, it's a super interesting year, as we all know, because the advertising market is definitely having a tough time overall. And we've all talked about how online is the bright spot within the broader advertising market. But particularly, what's been surprising, and it's, it's my company, Wet Paints Experience, but it's also true of the other companies that we're presenting, is that social is still very important to marketers. We're seeing a number of marketing deals come in, advertising deals come in, where people are continuing to buy because they want to reach that critical social influencer. And so is where everyone has a question mark over the state of the online ad market and the, the broader ad market as a whole. Within social, we're continuing to see growth, surprisingly, even into January for the top companies. I think it seems to be motivated by these marketers needing to experiment and really engage those passionate users. What kind of CPMs, if I could just use that, what kind of CPMs are we seeing on social networks? Are they dropping significantly? Yeah, I think what's happening uh, that we're seeing and that other companies are talking about without quoting specific ranges is that while the CPMs are dropping specifically from the ad networks, that's where the, the worst of the hit has been, the overall spend is continuing to increase. And what people are talking about is the massive increase in inventory that's being brought online. So many sites are social and the social sites are still growing in volume so fast mm -hmm. that even though the CPM rates and a lot of times are being challenged, you're seeing the overall volume and the amount of dollars flowing into the sector, still continuing to increase so far this year. Where, what budgets are you tapping into when you're working with, the media, with your media partners? What we're seeing so far is that as the marketers are being asked to cut their budgets this year, they're definitely having to take wax at some of the biggest expenses, and those are still typically offline expenses. Over 90% of marketing budgets and advertising budgets are still offline spending. But what they're not doing yet is cutting all the experimental. In fact, they're needing to come under pressure now to find the highest ROI channels. Mm -hmm. And that's where we're finding a lot of traction so far with the advertisers that we're working with. Okay. Um, just a couple of questions. You are doing a really good job SEO. I think you said you're very proud of your SEO. Give us a, a tip on how do you... Um, optimize your pages for your partners so they can be found on search engines. Yeah, it's obviously important because if you can expand your audience, those those valuable audience numbers go straight to the top line of revenue and to the bottom line for profits. And one of the biggest keys that we've been seeing with our partners and our own sites that we power is that having more content on the page is the number one trick to getting more audience from the search engines. Now, that's really important. And in fact, it's a change from the old media model. The old model was that you had to create all your own content and control the distribution. Now, if you're not tapping into your users to create content, you're not going to have the visibility in the search engines that you need. The more content, the better. Okay, last question. We're going to have to end up, or we're going to be in the midst of, like, lunch here. So, um, what, you know, there's these new sites coming up, well, you know, after you. I've interviewed them, like, um, Water Cooler and Buddy Media, and they're, they're trying to create... Um, social apps and advertising and they're trying to particularly water cooler trying to create fan bases around um, uh, shows and sports so do you how do you see yourself competing with them um, how do you see yourself as being different there's a lot of folks trying to figure out how to get fans engaged and the trick is to get fans engaged in a business model that works so what we're seeing is going back to a traditional media business model that's known and proven which is having a real media property and the sites we create with companies like Fox Showtime, HBO, Discovery. These kinds of sites operate like real media sites with ever-fresh content coming through them, in this case published by the users. That means the audience comes back each and every month. They don't just put a badge on their Facebook page, do it, set it, and forget it. Instead, with these social media properties and what paints powering, we're seeing company, uh, audience come in literally recurring every single month. Okay, so you don't really see any overlap or competition with you, these other a difference? Or? We haven't run into them yet. I think the question okay. is how do you get your passionate users engaged? Yes. And then having that presence in the search engines beyond just a little application that people use seems uh, to be the number one way to hold on to your audience okay. and to expand it. Well, it sounds like you're doing a good job. One contribution each sec second is pretty good. One contribution okay. per second on That's the WebPay network. It's okay. incredible. Thanks, Ben. Time to eat lunch. My pleasure.